My name is Shahista and I'm medical doctor in training. This is my final year of education. So I want to tell three things about myself. First, uh, I love traveling. And this is not only about going from one place to another, but it's more about exploring, exploring knowledge, cultures, people, and different languages and learning more about them. And second thing is that I love doing some meaningful work and by meaningful, uh, I mean doing some kind of work, uh, be it community service, research, or volunteering that can have direct impact on people's lives and can have uh, long-term implications. So certainly, um, I, I can say without any guilt that I'm a very active person. Uh, I've been doing martial arts for a couple of years. Right now, uh, I do more outdoor activities like biking, hiking, and just doing more uh, like more activity on nature. Currently, I'm involved in cancer research. However, uh, in future, I want to shift my direction. I'm uh, curious to learn human brain, so I want to move to neuroscience direction. And I believe human brain is one of the most fascinating and most complex organs. And as, as currently, we have so many diseases like uh, dementia, Alzheimer's, and other terrible neurodegenerative uh, diseases that prevent people living happy and long life. So I want to do some great work so that people can live a happy and long life. I will be talking about how making the right choices can help us protect our brain. One, two. Somewhere in the world, a person, a, per, a person gets a stroke. This often results in a death or causes a disability. When somebody has a stroke, one of the arteries, a blood vessel that supplies our brain with blood and oxygen, gets blocked. This blockage can lead to brain death. How does this happen? Let's say. This is an artery, a blood vessel from a healthy person's brain. I want you to appreciate how thin the walls are. Through this vessel, blood can flow without any difficulty. However, when a person is always under stress, has a high blood pressure and high cholesterol levels, these walls tend to change and become narrowed. And now they look more like this. The walls of the artery are covered with a plaque known as atherosclerotic plaque. These plaques pose a huge risk. If they rupture, they can stop blood flow to our brain. So, depending on the affected brain sites, we may experience different symptoms, such as sudden loss of speech, visual changes, or even paralysis. Once the symptoms start, we have a tiny window of time for stroke victims to get a life-saving treatment. This treatment comes in two forms. First, within the first four hours, we doctors inject a drug known as TPA, tissue plasminogen activator, to dissolve the plaque and restore blood flow to our brain. Secondly, surgeons can remove the plaque and again, help the patients. So now you know that stroke is something serious and can be fatal if not treated urgently. However, I have some good news for you. Recent studies have shown that moderately intense level of exercising and eating a healthier diet rich in fruits and vegetables can in the long run lower our risks of having a stroke. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank thank you. Okay, so I mean, use it. Thank you, Shahista. I don't know. I think after all these uh, speeches, I will be starting lifestyle, good lifestyle, and start doing the sport probably. No, oh, but still, <laughs> at least I'm encouraged now. So, Shahista, you'll have you'll be questioned by our judges. So, Artur, Asana, Jonathan, uh, please. The floor is yours. I do. Yes. Uh, um, Thank you, Shahista, for this um, uh, presentation, for this talk. Um, as a doctor, can you, can you, I, I wonder how many preventable deaths due to um, stroke 
happened in Kazakhstan. And um, if known already, how did COVID um, contribute to the situation in the country? Okay, so um, the first part of the question about the statistics. I'm not sure about Kazakhstan, but what I know is that every one uh, out of six people can get a st uh, stroke. And this can happen at any time without any, uh, without any notification. So speaking of this uh, COVID, uh, so COVID usually right now, as we know, uh, there are no fresh uh, like studies about how exactly stroke and COVID are linked. But we can suppose that um, it worsens stroke because uh, so stroke usually affects people who already have some sort of uh, predisposition like diabetes, maybe old age or some other factors. And as we know uh, for now, the people who have some heart disease, some other conditions are uh, having COVID cases more severely. And we can suppose that the same trend is uh, true with stroke patients. Thank you. I'll ask a question. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, I know that some of the some of the treatments uh, work by thinning the blood, which makes it easier to get through the mm -hmm. arteries. But with with natural treatments such as exercise and diet, do they actually improve the walls of the arteries yes. rather than affect the blood. Okay, that's what I thought. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>